Hi, my name is Tarun Jain. I'm an associate professor of economics at uh, IIM Ahmedabad. Uh, so, you know, uh, welcome to the PhD program uh, at IIM Ahmedabad. Uh, economics is an exciting area to be doing research in these days. Uh, w economics is really going through a renaissance period uh, in the study and uh, of economics, particularly research in economics. What is happening is that economists are developing new concepts uh, and theories to explain the world around us. And then we are venturing out, getting data from all sorts of new situations and testing our theories against that data. Here at IIM Ahmedabad, uh, we are really at the heart of some of those exciting developments in economics. So for example, people are studying new ideas in macroeconomics, in auction theory, in how networks form, so on and so forth. And then what we are doing is going out and uh, engaging with the policy world or with businesses and getting data to test those new theories uh, and so we are getting data from new surveys, we are getting data from administrative records, so on and so forth and then uh, using this data we are able to put together a far more comprehensive research program than you would see virtually anywhere else in India. I am really excited about these new developments and I hope that you can join us for uh, the PhD program at IIM Ahmedabad. Hi. I'll be talking about the Information Systems PhD program here at IIM Ahmedabad. Information Systems PhD program has been in existence for several years now and over the years we have produced several scholars who have gone on to work in leading academic institutions, corporates, consulting and training etc. The key part of the IS PhD program is the diversity of research interests that the faculty members have. Some of the faculty currently working in the area are engaged in research in areas such as artificial intelligence, text mining, online networks, social media platforms, financial technologies and pro-social behavior. The incoming student is typically exposed to all these different areas and then has a choice of selecting the one that works best for him or her. After the program, uh, as I said, students take up positions in, uh, in, in leading institutions around the world. Uh, we take pride in the alumni that we have generated and the kind of intellectual capital they have produced over the years. Some of the publications from the area are in leading IS outlets such as Decision Support System, Information and Management, Journal of Strategic Information System and so on. The information system area is, uh, is also proud to present uh, a range of courses that some of that students take. These courses are uh, represent some of the cutting edge research that is going on in IS area and these include um, big data analytics, data visualization, uh, artificial intelligence, text mining, uh, uh, economics of information system and organizational IS and so on. Uh, we hope that uh, with this very brief introduction, you would be motivated to take up this program, apply for this program and we look forward to seeing you, uh, your application um, uh, and, and hope that you will become part of the IMA community and the information systems area in particular. We also hope that if you choose to be with us, uh, we would look forward to having you as part of the esteemed alumni that we have uh, produced over the years. Let me give you a quick overview of our PhD program in production and quantitative methods. Our students are selected through regular selection procedure and finally when they come to the IMA, they are, have to go through rigorous coursework in the first year. Our area production and quantitative methods is divided into two broad sub areas. One is decision sciences which includes statistics, optimization and other OR methods where the second area is the sub area is our operations management. So students go through rigorous coursework in the first year in both of these domains such as statistics, probability, basic methods in operations research, operations management and so on and so forth. Post the first year, the students in second year take rigorous course electives. Now these electives also prepare them to dive into deep into one specific sub area. Our institute also gives flexibility or in fact recommend students to take up independent research proposals with a faculty of their choice or multiple faculties of their choice so that they gain expertise in one area before they finally decide their core area of research. Post the second year, the students also have to go through a comprehensive examination 
which test their ability to apply some of their theoretical knowledges in some specific problem settings. Once they clear the comprehensive exam, they are now ready to dive deep into real world application and or it may be a theoretical problem. The student starts working with some, one of the faculty, one or two, if maybe of the faculty, and starts looking into one of the or two of the problems which help them to dive deep into one of the application area. For example, the student could be working in e-commerce, the students could be working in the sharing economy, the students could be working in any of the manufacturing problem setting. We take one or two or three problems which the, has relevance in today's era as well as has a strong methodological and a theoretical component which the student can really apply some of the tools and techniques. Now what is interesting is that this program prepares our students to take up his career in, in academia. So we also expose our students to teaching methods as the program continues. So students have to go through a teaching assistantship modules where they assist faculty for large classroom settings. And that also prepares our students to face the real world once they take up a position in academia post their career. Now, as the students go and prepare for the job market, we also handhold the students to prepare the job market papers which end up in top-notch journals subsequently. Now, what is unique features of our program are two. One is our faculties are uniquely positioned to understand what are the key areas that the market needs. If you talk about application areas, our faculties are expert in the areas of, of machine learning, analytics, and also in the broadly in the area of transportation and logistics. Our faculties in that area not only work in those application areas, but also develop strong tools and techniques, including optimization methods and so on and so forth to solve some of the key problems in this area. So finally, the faculty mentors the participant or the, or the student post their PhD program as well so that the student can finally settle down in the academic position. It could be a postdoctoral position or it could be a faculty position in top business school in India or abroad. Our students have shown that they can really conquer in any of the academic world. Thank you.